I am at the Oregon Garden in Silverton, and they are kicking off the Art in the Garden, which is happening all summer through September. But today I'm gonna to be talking with Scott, who's one of the artists here. Beautiful pieces, and it's really kind of an interesting, it's copper and wood. Correct. And so what, it, what kind of um, technique is that? Because it looks a little bit different, this kind of metalwork on the wood. It's actually an old art form. It's copper repoussé, which more or less just means shaping metals and manipulating metals. And uh, my particular repoussé is self-taught. I'm actually drawing these shapes into a 32 gauge copper. And that's why I have lively, interesting lines. Um, traditionally, most folks were beating this over wood or, or hammering. Um, I beat my hands up and draw because I like the liveliness I get out of it. Uh, there's really some pretty textures to it. You, there's different kinds. I mean, these are um, very vertical, but there's mm -hmm. other pieces that are here in the garden too. Correct. Uh, you know, I try to keep it interesting. I don't want to be one dimensional. Mm. I'm always pushing for different shapes, different things. These pieces behind us actually inspired from damaged cedar trees in my yard that lost their crowns in an ice storm. Mm. And then when they regrow, the crowns usually wander around so they find their center. And that's what I'm trying to do here is, is wandering around and coming back pretty close to center, just like what uh, conifers do when they get damaged and they regrow. Yeah, and so when you were approached to come to the garden for this exhibition, did you come see this space or do you do a lot of pieces for gardens? Well, I actually submitted before I saw it, but I was really pleasantly surprised when I visited here. It's it's beautiful um, and it is, it's great to see the art in this kind of environment. I mean, this is where I want it. Ah, really? And so are you local here? Are you going to be available during these next few weeks? I live in Eugene, but I am through the area often. I do a lot in Portland, so I'm up and down I-5 quite a bit. So, uh, and I always tend to try to stop in and visit my babies because they are <laughs> kind of kids to me. Well, of course. And uh, just, just to see how they're doing and, you know, folks are around, I'm happy to talk to them. Um, you know, it is a passion of mine. Uh, I love these things, so. Oh, it, and it shows. They're really beautiful pieces. So, you know, if you're at the garden seeing all this beautiful artwork, you stop on over because you might see Scott checking on his little babies here. Well, there's other pieces in the garden, but I am going to go talk to Kelly, and she is the coordinator for all this. So I'm going to get all the information about out in the garden. So I'm just going over there right now. Thanks, Scott. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in another part of the garden in front of another installation, but I'm with Kelly. And Kelly, you have done a great job coordinating this whole event of Art in the Garden. Oh, thank you. And so tell us about this installation. This is just beautiful. This is part of Flora Gigantis by Richard Hayes and his lovely wife, Kendall. They powder coat steel and just bring a real whimsical touch to the garden with their giant flowers. Uh, when you come in, there's just these huge metal flowers on each side of the path pathway, and it's just beautiful. But tell us about the whole event, because we want people to come out and see it, because it's just amazing. Aww. We have 10 artists displaying in 11 locations. We have three workshops going on throughout the summer. One is macro photography with Karen Meyer. We have mosaic garden projects with Mark Brody and chainsaw sculpting with David Hill's land. No experience required. <laughs> that one sounds like fun, so bring your chainsaws for this class. <laughs> chainsaws provided oh. by Oregon Chain. They're <laughs> it's great. even easier. <laughs> and so do we just come to the um, event center to come in or, and just kind of pay our money and get into the garden and see all this beautiful art? We prefer that you for the workshops, pre-buy your oh, tickets okay. at OregonGarden.org. Okay. But for the event, it's on display until September 30th. Wow. You just pay at the Visitor Center admission, and the art is all here. There's maps at the front desk. Is this a benefit for any one group? Well, it is a fundraiser for the Oregon Garden. Okay. And also, part of our program benefits new artists. We grant $1,000 to a new artist every year to do something really ambitious that they couldn't do on their own to get on their feet as artists and we really offer them the great exposure of the garden. And what if someone wants to get involved next year? Because I'm sure you're gonna do it again next year. Absolutely. Uh, at OregonGarden.org, we have an Art in the Garden page with an artist inquiry form at the very bottom. It goes straight to my email and I'll contact you. Kelly, I understand you got to select all of the artists. So what was the criteria you were looking for? We look for art that is number one, durable for <laughs> outdoors for three months. I, I like things that have a large presence and that will both inspire you and remind you of the garden that you're in. We have abstract installations, things up to 12 feet tall, as well as 
things one foot tall that are little porches of raccoons. <laughs> really, it makes it easy because you can stroll through the garden and see the beauty of the garden, which is lovely in the summertime, but then you can also see all these kind of hidden little secret areas that have all the beautiful artwork. And there are also many different ones, like we saw, saw the one with Scott, and then this metal one, and then there's a mm -hmm. mosaic face that's really cool. Yes. I don't really want to give too much of it away because we want you to come out to see this lovely setting for all the art in the garden. So if any other questions please go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over to the Oregon Garden for all the information. Thanks so much and thanks for making this so beautiful. Uh -huh. Thank you.